Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the horse and the cart problem. The argument in this problem is that the horse pulls this cart with the force F1. And remember Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the cart must also pull the horse with the force F2. So, and the horse is moving by pulling the uh, cart with the force F1 and the cart is pulling the horse with the force F2. Now according to Newton's third law, F1 and F2 are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So won't the resultant force be zero? Because uh, F1 and F2 are equal in magnitude and the resultant is just going to be F1 minus F2 which is equal to zero. Then how is the horse moving? Well, that is known as the horse and the cart problem and let's talk about the solution. So F1 and F2 are indeed equal in magnitude and opposite in direction but the net force isn't zero. That is where uh, we were wrong. So there are other forces acting on the system. Let's try to figure them out. So the horse pulls this cart with the force F1 which creates a tension T in the string. And since the cart is pulling the horse with the force F2, that creates a tension T over here too. And I, I haven't told T1 or T2 because we are talking about the same rod that is connecting the cart and the horse. So the tension is going to be same. Now let's talk about the uh, for, uh, forces that are acting on the horse. Now let me make an FBD of the horse. So its weight is acting in the vertically downward direction that is mhg mass of the horse times acceleration due to gravity and there is the normal reaction n1 and there is tension t and what else the ground the horse is exerting a force on the ground the horse is exerting a force uh, P on the ground, let's say P. Now, again, due to Newton's third law, the ground is also exerting a, a force on the horse that is opposite in direction. So, a force P is being exerted by the ground on the horse in this direction and this is the force that is essentially making the horse move because, let's see why. Let's say that, uh, that this force P makes an angle alpha with the horizontal. So this is alpha. So this is P and this is alpha. So Px, the component of P along the x direction is going to be P cos alpha. So the component of P along the x direction is going to be P cos alpha. So this force is going to be P cos alpha and there, there's also going to be a vertical component of this force P that is P sin alpha. Alright, so now that the horse is moving in the forward direction, uh, so it is accelerating in the forward direction, so the forces in the y direction are balanced, are equal. So Fy is equal to 0 or sigma Fy, the sum of all the forces in the y direction is 0. Now we have P sin alpha, the normal reaction and mhg in the y direction. So let's equate them. N1 plus P sin alpha is equal to mhg. And the horse is accelerate, accelerating in the forward direction. So P cos alpha minus T is equal to mhA. <coughs> so P cos alpha minus T is equal to mHA. Now let's talk about the forces that are acting on the cart. So this is the cart. There is the mass of the cart times acceleration due to gravity which is its weight. And there is the normal reaction N2 and the tension is along this direction. And there is also frictional force acting in this direction. When the cart is moving in this direction, there is frictional force acting in this direction. So 
let me call that F small f. So there is frictional force acting in that in this direction, and the cart is also accelerating with the horse. So and again F y is equal to zero because of which N two is equal to m c g. And the horse is uh, the cart is accelerating in this direction. So T minus F is equal to m c a. Let me call it A C. Acceleration of the cart. Now comes the very important step. Now I want you to think about this. If the cart is moving with an, uh, if the horse is moving with an acceleration a h, and let me call this a h. So the horse is moving with an acceleration a h, and the cart is also moving with the cart is moving with an acceleration a c. Is a c equal to a h? Think about it. The answer is yes. A c is equal to a h because. the horse is moving with an acceleration ah and the cart in order to keep up with the horse and to remain as a system should also move with an acceleration uh, that equal to the horse so ac should be equal to ah so ac is equal to ah so i can say that p cos alpha minus t divided by mh is equal to T minus F upon M C, and now let me call this common acceleration A. So the common acceleration is just A C, which is equal to A H. Now let me just erase this diagram. So from here we can say that M H A uh, is equal to M H A is equal to P cos alpha minus t and M C A is equal to t minus f. So if I add both of these equations, I get A times M H plus M C is equal to hmm, P cos alpha minus f. Because t and minus t will get cancelled. So from here, the common acceleration A will be P cos alpha minus f divided by m h plus m c. Now, what if I want to solve for the tension? So. A times m h minus m c. I can just subtract both of these equations, and I get A times m h minus m c is equal to P cos alpha minus T minus T plus f plus f. So the signs are going to change over here. So the tension we are solving for the tension. So m h minus m c. Is equal to P cos alpha minus two T plus F. So from here we can say that two T is equal to A times M H minus M C. So two T. So, uh, so it's going to be minus a times m h minus m c plus p cos alpha plus f. So the tension T is going to be p cos alpha plus f minus a times m h minus m c divided by. Now, what about the frictional force F from this equation? Let me call that equation two. From equation two, we know that minus F is equal to m c a minus t. So F is equal to t minus m c a.
we also let's say that we know the coefficient of friction between the surface of the wheel of the cart and the ground let's say that's mu so mu times uh, mcg mu n normal reaction is mcg that is equal to t minus mca and from here you can figure out mu as well we're just solving for how many how many of variables we can divide it by mc and i think that's it you can also solve for other variables like alpha let's do that as well so a times mh plus mc look at equation 2 a times mh plus mc plus f divided by t is equal to cos alpha so alpha is just going to be the cos inverse of a times mh plus mc plus f divided by t so that pretty much solves our horse and the cart problem so the main thing in this problem was that there is a forward component p cos alpha which is making the horse move in the forward direction with an acceleration.